Hello everyone, this is Noah with Save Green here again, and today we're going to go over a tankless natural gas water heater. And we're also going to show you why many customers, such as this one here, are going with a tankless natural gas water heater if you currently have a natural gas tank water heater, whether it be 40, 50, 60, 80 gallons, whatever. So what we're going to do before we come back and take a look at this is make a quick trip to one of our local box stores and show you the prices of tank style water heaters. And then we will come back and show you why this customer in particular went with this type of water heater. So here we are at Home Depot prices for gas water heaters 664 644 548 519 really expensive and they don't seem to get better here the prices 600s 400s 400s 500s all this for uh, natural gas water heaters Okay, folks, now that we've come back and returned from our field trip over at the uh, box store, we want to show you a little bit about these uh, water heaters. They have been very popular in the European market, so they're very popular on the other side of the world, and that's why you can see the 16L. That's actually 16 liters. So this particular model runs uh, about 4.2 or 4.3 gallons per minute. If you have a low flow shower head you're probably running about a gallon per minute so if you do if you don't and you have maybe two and a half gallons per minute this will do a whole house no problem as you can be taking a shower and then someone else can be using hot water at the sink or faucet doesn't matter but a 16 liter they also have 18 liter for bigger applications but just so you have an idea how big it is i have my tape measure there and it's 24 inches high and it is about 13 inches wide so they're not very big at all as you can see and in this particular application and I'll show you here real quick uh, as far as the width goes so you can see that it's roughly about 13 inches wide and maybe just about there you go about five inches from the back to the front so it's not very big at all and you can see it's got the exhaust there to exhaust the uh, the fumes out you have your temperature control here and then you can also control the water flow and that's what this is for if you want more water sensitivity to when it comes on and you can have either summer or winter mode so that's why these these uh, water heaters are very popular in the European market and then you can see at the bottom you have your inlet which is your cold water coming in right here and then the hot water returning back into the home as hot water to your uh, area that you're heating whether it be your shower or sinks or faucets whatnot and then of course the yellow line you see there is your gas now again you already saw what the prices are for tank propane water heaters at the box store these guys normally run anywhere from 200 to 250 dollars they're very easy to install it took us maybe about 45 minutes to an hour to do the entire installation once we remove the old water heater the only thing you would need to buy is this little piece right here and that's an adapter to adapt our u.s uh, gas line thread to the european thread your threads for your water are going to be the same kind of like uh uh, like you have now but what I recommend you do and we did it in this case we actually took the device with us to the box store so so we were able to get the proper piping and threads and all that so we didn't have to make another trip so our suggestion is once you get it take it with you to the box store and you'll be able to get all your fittings and connections accordingly you also do want to buy uh, either a Teflon tape or something like this, which is a pipe thread compound. And you're going to use this 
to put it around your natural gas line as well. You can use it for your water. Uh, so you can either get this or Teflon tape and it'll work just fine. But we already tested it and one thing you have to consider since again they're European and on the other side of the world is the temperatures reading is in Celsius. So you'll have to gradually adjust your temperature here and and uh, you can just go on your phone and and Google what what that temperature is in Fahrenheit. So we have it at uh, I believe in the mid 40s, which is close to 115, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. That's good enough for many applications. But we used to have a uh, uh, tank style water heater sitting there, and we removed it. Customer had the floor completely caving in because the water heater had leaked and actually was about to fall through so we had to rebuild the floor and we rebuilt we actually built a a uh, frame around it to hold it in as far as the tankless natural gas water heater but again this is Noah with Save Green here what I'll do is I will post a link down at the des description so you can uh, check it out but they're about I would say one third of the price of what you would spend on a tank water heater and the good thing about these guys is they're only running when you actually run a hot water faucet in the house so it'll save you lots of money on your natural gas bill as you're not heating the water so right now no one inside is using hot water so it's just idle it's just standing there as far as a tank water heater if you're in a winter climate and it's cold around it guess what all it takes is one degree for it to drop and it's going to turn on and you're actually paying the uh, propane usage when you're not really using the hot water. So this is a wise investment. Again, it's Noah with Save Green here. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and please feel free to share it with anyone that you know is looking for a water heater through your social media stream. Thank you very much and have a nice day.